hello beautiful people welcome back to another episode of chill with lami <laughs> it's been two weeks right two weeks since i uploaded the last video um i want to apologize um i had um stressful weeks in those two weeks i actually had stressful weeks and normally all i just want to do during the weekend is that i'm not chilling i'm not hanging out let me just sleep and rest plus i've just been you know tired i didn't have the vibe i didn't just feel like filming anything but today i have the vibe and then everything is back so i just thought to film this um while i was thinking of content to put out you know in my lazy state while i was thinking of content to put out um this topic um the title of this video popped in my head and i'm like why not right it's something that i struggled with it is something that yes we had it but you know um it's just all those generic things that you hear all the time and i think it will make more difference if um you're hearing things from people's people's experiences um while creating content for this or while penning some things down um i had to ask a few of my friends and you know you almost correct in fact most of the things that they said um correlated with the things that are already penned down so if you're new here welcome if you're a returning subscriber welcome thank you thank you guys um i see your comments on my videos thank you for encouraging me really um these comments actually keep me going like i said one time on my status youtube notifications right now are my favorite things for now <laughs> among every other things that i like okay so um i know that some of you have younger siblings um cousins friends um in this category um undergraduates um even recent graduates actually um as friends as you know people that you know anyway um i'd like you to share this video as much as possible um with them share it with them um, i don't mind if this helps one person um these are things that i struggled with if you knew me in school as an undergraduate you know that i had bad anxiety especially um in my final year i had like terrible anxiety if you're my friend and you can relate please like comment in, in, um leave your comments in the comment section so it doesn't look like i'm i'm just you know bo in quote bubbling you guys um especially in my final year i was like oh what am i going to do next um what kind of job am i going to get um, what's going to happen to me am i going to be asking for money every time like what am i even going to do it can be a very annoying depressing sad state to be in so um i know that some of you are already doing some of the things i'm going to pin down but i would like to encourage you to um work with your objective in mind like see the bigger picture i think that that would help um a lot i keep looking at myself instead of the camera i think that that would actually help a lot um to drive the things that you're currently doing you might just be doing things for doing sake but if you're working with the objective in mind i feel like it will go a long way um now this channel is not an aspire to perspire kind of channel in fact that is not what my channel is all about but this is one thing i struggled with and i'm like why not let me just share this i mean this is my experience these are the things that i did these are the things that i thought i would do these are the things that i think um these are the things that i think young people or um, undergraduates or yeah undergraduates should do um before they leave sorry i'm distracted before they leave um school okay so what else i think that's all let's get right into this video number one have a mentor number one have a mentor um the reason i'm saying this is because people have gone before you um people have had experiences people will still come after you you don't have to make the mistakes that people have made um you have someone to always run to you have guidance you have someone that you can always ask questions you have someone that can point you in the right direction um things like that like you need a mentor i'm not even big on the mental ish um i know that you can get discouraged you know you're looking for a mentor and then you're aired and everything but you know what you're looking for <laughs> I heard these things countless times when I was in school, having mentor and all of that, but not until I left school, right? Not until I left school, I saw I saw the need for it. I wish there was someone I was I could always go around to like, oh okay, what do you think I can do about this? With having a mentor, um, it empowers you to make wise decisions. You're not just 
floating you're not making your mistakes and learning from it you don't have to people have already made those mistakes like you don't have to i know you've heard this but me i'm telling you now that you need it because i've passed that i've passed that phase even right now in every phase of your life i think you need someone that you can always go back to ask questions because why people have gone before you people have had these experiences people have made this mistake people have journeyed before so why not why not just leverage on that relationship right um please get a mentor um even if it's one for a start i'm still looking for mentors to be honest this year my goal is at least to get two new mentors um someone that i can always go to me to ask questions someone heard elderly someone respectable someone with a wealth of knowledge and wisdom right so yeah have a mentor very 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 important number two network hmm. i know that this is one of the big challenges for some people now for some people networking comes easily because of their or like only because of the, the kind of people they are because of their character because of how jovial how open about they are you know so you're a typical sanguine it would be easy for you to make friends you know but if you're an introvert like me and other people or an ambivert like me and other people it, it might be difficult so i have a friend i know she's probably watching this i will not mention her name but i'm sure that when you're watching this you know that you're the one um so what she what we talked about the whole networking thing and she was like all you need to do is just follow them right for example when you see someone that you want to have in your space on twitter on linkedin you like their post engage their post follow them you can send a dm that oh okay this thing that you said oh i, I it makes sense can you come um, it makes sense and all of that and you know i'd like to ask questions on this even if they don't even if they don't respond right you've left something in their minds right? another thing that i would like to say is that for networking um focus on giving focus on sharing not basically taking focus on providing value focus on you know providing a solution don't just focus on you wanting to take or you want them to be in your circle because or if you need something you want to be able to run to them yes that is one of the benefits of networking but that shouldn't be your driving force i think that that's that could be selfish but there is a there's wealth of money and there is wealth of men you know and in that lies wisdom in that lies you know um opportunities in that lies um you know someone is doing something like oh okay um you think this person can contribute to um ideas and all you know you you need these people you, you actually need to network to be able to advance you know to ask questions you need people if you don't have people you want to ask you just be making mistakes and then be going around in your own circles mentorship and networking like i said are very very vital very vital things very important number three number three you guys you guys want to know what number three is for me number three is knowing what you really want to do and learning the skills that will take you there now i understand that some of us are in are doing courses that do not correlate with what we really, we really want to do if you're in your part one you can actually cross if you're in your part two you can cross part three you can cross i can't even tell you when to cross to be honest but i know that part one part two is so easy level one level two year one year two whatever you call it in your own um school um you can get year one year two you can still you know migrate um but regardless of that right i studied microbiology um to be honest i didn't know what i really wanted to do but i knew that i wasn't going to work with microbiology i knew um not until i graduated then i started to take on human resources much more seriously um if i had known better i would have you know started doing courses right from school um started to even intern in places that all those long holidays that somebody was just staying at home i would have used it to intern in places to you know increase my experience level um um solidify my skills um necessary um or vital for this um role what you want to do early enough and learn the skills that you need to get there you don't need to learn them after you're done you're just going to waste time waste your time really learn skills that are in high demand right now it's tech that is really you no know, ui ux product design product management um 
programming skills things like that that is if you like them but learn skills that are in high demand learn skills that are peculiar to what you want to do you don't need to wait till you're done with school before you start to pursue that yes you are not in that line of what you really want to do but you can start to take courses start to intern start to you know work towards learning those skills so that you're not wasting time see outside is really competitive like if you don't have one person have this have the necessary qualifications you cannot wait till when you're done to begin to pursue those skills that are needed to take you to where you want to be so i'd advise that yes even as a so even as a, an engineering student right or you're studying engineering today what are those skills that i need that are reigning in the market now let me start to learn them you don't have to wait till you're done please don't wait thank you very much <laughs> now number four um invest invest your money hmm. nera keeps depreciating every day like every day nera keeps devaluating is that devalu devalu whatever depreciating right uh let me just stick to that word nera keeps depreciating and there are many things to invest in now this is not a paid um advertisement i'm just saying things i know that people are doing you can do your please do your research before you put your money in any of them but these are the things that i know and these are the things that you can get money from personally i don't i don't i don't approve of a job because it doesn't make sense you're, you're, it looks like you're losing for example say one dollar was um 300 naira when you started a job and then when you collected your money one dollar is now 400 naira you've actually lost you've actually even lost say you were keeping that money in like a carry wise or something the money has appreciated yes dollar dollar has increased your naira has devalued but your money has even appreciated to a bit to be able to even you know bear the loss or bear the shock or whatever so yes invest in the tribe and greek there's agro partnership there's carry wise there's bamboo um there's so many things there's trove you can buy invest in crypto you guys i wish that <laughs> i wish that i bought bitcoin like since but it's not too late to invest in all those things invest in crypto invest in like there's carry wise there's piggy vest save your money there's rice vest you know where you can even share links and then as people save their money you get commission don't just be doing a job and keep your money in colo in colo means saving box right invest your money um that being said i don't think there's so much to say about that but invest grow your money talk to people um, about what they, what they are doing to save their money and then get, get insights. Don't just give your money in a jaw or in your save in your. Oh yes, you should have like cash that you can easily um use. But for your savings, please invest. Think long term. Um yeah. Um the next point for me would be to join an organization, hold a leadership position um those skills the soft skills you would learn um would help you um at work there's nothing that's too much for example say you are like an admin person in your church for instance um if you are a christian um in your church for instance all those organizational skills communication skills um time management budgeting planning skills you need all those things people management you need all those things to be able to work on that pressure to be able to get things done because anything can go wrong at any time you need all those skills multitasking you know all those skills come into play regardless of who you are but regardless of whatever level you are in um in your career you need all those skills and then you can start to build on them by just joining an organization in school like try to hold a leadership position try to hold an executive executive position be a dedicated and committed team member um i wish i had leveraged on these things that's why i said that see work with the objective in mind i joined an organization i was the head of like partnership and sponsorship in an organization just here in school but i feel that if i had worked with the mindset oh i want to network i want to build these skills i would have probably used it way more better 
um that's why i'm always you know i was i've been saying is work with the end goal what do you want to do with these things you're not just doing it because you're joining the bandwagon do it with an objective in mind yeah join an organization hold a leadership position people that are doing these things with them and are making with like with what they've done they know what they are doing because they've asked questions they probably have mentors they probably have older siblings that have told them to do these things they probably have gotten advice from one or two people so yeah do these things that i'm telling you leverage on if you're doing it kudos to you but work with the objective in mind okay so um i'm coming to the end of this video um but the last thing i would um say is to start to work on your cv um a lot of us worked and i know <laughs> a lot of us work on our cvs as soon as we you know graduated start to work on your cv start to create your portfolio you know from time to time look at your cv and look at oh okay this is what i want to do this is these are the skills i currently have what can i add to it i wish that you know everybody that would come across this video would share or encourage their yeah, younger ones, yeah, or their graduate friends, or implement these things that I'm saying if you are in this um, n um, space that I'm referring to, or I'm doing this video for an undergraduate, just recently graduated. Um, if you're within that space, please do these things. Um, I hope that it would go a long way. Um, don't give up, just keep pushing. Um, just keep pushing, don't give up, stay motivated um yeah i've come to the end of this video if you liked my video please give it a thumbs up i don't know when next i'm going to do this kind of video again because like i said it is not an aspire to perspire video but i would want to share my experiences right and i know that this would be helpful um to different people out there so why not like why not share um so till next time next time should be a fun video actually i hope so something that you want to see the chill i know that this one is not a chill video you guys but some people need to see this right um so bringing you the chill the vibe and all of that next time the smiles um the laughs laughter <laughs> and you, you guys i didn't know, i didn't laugh so much in this video right or like laughing at all just laughing anyhow um yeah i'm your girl it is me it is i lami lami day laminating lam lam lami diesel lami how many names have they not called me in this life but yeah um i'll see you in my next video um have an amazing week Mwah. Mwah. depending on when this video goes out actually um stay safe see you guys in my next video bye